Hey guys, today I'm back working on the Mercury. It made it to the Cars and Cameras uh, headquarters and uh, we're just getting it ready for our long 5,000 mile round trip road trip. So, got the boys in here. Say hello guys. What's up? Hey guys. What's up? Uh, and they're uh, working on an upcoming project and uh, I'm going to be over here working on my car. So. We've got some serious problems with this thing, as you're gonna see. Once I get this tire removed, uh, suspension stuff, it's really, really bad. It's worse than I thought, in fact. Uh, but fortunately, I got all the parts I need. Uh, hopefully, we have everything here to go ahead and get this car fixed. So, uh, let's get this wheel off and uh, see what we got. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and rotate the tires because I obviously had a alignment issue because the inside of my tires are extremely worn. Didn't even know that. All right, so I found a rattle that uh, I've had on this car. It's the uh, brake shoe itself. So I should have squeezed this together uh, to make it tight. Uh, I'll make sure I do it for this uh, trip. So, um, so what we've got on this is we've got the upper bushings are worn slam out and they're metal on metal. And in fact, you can see a, a shiny part there. It's actually eating into the upper control arm itself. Don't know if y'all can see that. But uh, we got to pull this upper control arm out and replace those bushings. Hopefully we can do it. All right, so first thing you need to do is take the upper ball joint loose. That way you can pull back on the upper control arm and lubricate the bolts underneath. And there's looks like some captured nuts. We're going to find out. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Take this loose, use a pickle fork to get it and then two bolts and you should have the whole assembly off and in your hands. Let's see how that works for a car that's 47 years old. So I've got the upper control arm out and you can see right there it's been rubbing uh, in the you know, a place that it shouldn't even be rubbing. The rubber is completely gone out of that bushing on one side. Same thing on this on, on the one side. Um, the upper ball joint feels fantastic. I probably won't even replace the ball joint because honestly a an, an old one like this is probably better than a brand new one that you pick up at a parts store nowadays. I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, so I'm going to work on getting these uh, pieces. This is the new ones. I'm going to work on getting them pressed out and uh, get these new ones in.
Well guys, I decided to drive my Mercury back to the old shop to finish up the front end uh, work on this car. I didn't think it through whenever I drove to Cars and Cameras on, I don't know anyone that, that will do an, I don't trust anyone to do an alignment on this car at the Cars and Cameras place. Um, so I did one side. And of course the car drove absolutely terrible on the way home. Uh, so I'm gonna be finishing up the uh, suspension work here at the uh, old workplace and I'll be taking it to a local alignment shop, which is gonna make me feel a lot better. That way I don't have to rely on any rides or anything like that. So, uh, so I brought it here and well, some stuff happened. Not good, not good. I hope that this won't happen again while I'm on the road. So, right here. I absolutely shredded a belt on this car, shredded it. And it took out the alternator belt as well. Look at that thing, it's just wrapped up. I'm gonna have to cut it out. It is in bad shape guys uh and it almost took out my a my power steering belt it's flipped it's rolled on the crankshaft pulley so i'm not sure exactly what happened but it wasn't good uh now i'm going to have to uh bring this car in the shop figure out what's going on with the belts i bought new belts for it and i ordered some extras so I can have some on the road. But I need to get this old Mercedes out of my way and move the Mercury in and start to work on it. So let me uh, get the Mercury out of the way and get this Mercedes out and pull the Mercury in. All right, I pulled the car in. Now I'm gonna put it up in the air, look things over underneath real good and I'm just going to go ahead and start with the suspension because I think that's the most important one I need to do first. Uh, the belts, it's easy. You put belts on. Uh, so I don't know if I need to order any more parts. I got a bunch of parts. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start taking things apart. And if I need to order something, I'll go ahead and get it ordered today. All right. So let's get this thing up in the air and look at the uh, suspension.
since we're carrying such a load, I decided to go ahead and get some uh, air shocks to install on this car. It comes with an airline and, and a Schrader. Uh, a way to pump air in from the back of the car and jack the back end up to heavy, some really heavy loads. So these are uh, pretty cool looking. They're gonna just simple installation and uh, they're gonna make the car that much better. Shine bright up all night when never slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the ground. Gotta keep this feeling, keep on breathing.
totally ran out of time, didn't get everything done that I wanted done, but I'm on the road, heading back to the Cars and Cameras headquarters, and that's where we're going to finish up uh, this car. Part of that uh, finishing up is spray painting the underneath of the car because I don't want the salt to damage the car any more than it is. Now I know I can't get everything with the paint, but we're gonna do the best we can and we're gonna just coat the snot out of it and hoping, hoping we'll get everything that salt would want to get to. So uh, I've got 30 more minutes of driving and uh, we'll be at Cars and Cameras and uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do first. Oh, check the belts too. I got to check the belts on this thing, make sure they're they're uh, okay. So, uh, all right, see y'all at the shop. What's up? Oh. What's up? Hi. No. What? Yeah. What is the... So, you got a funny looking tip there, dude. Well, look at that, it's fanned. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, we have been working on prepping the underneath of the car uh, for paint. Uh, I pressure washed it yesterday, got, ever, got a lot of dirt off and stuff. We're painting the underneath the car because we don't want uh, rust to uh, happen. Uh, we've even been using just whatever. We got some silver here, but we're going to cover it. Uh, if y'all have not used the turbo spray system, guys, I highly recommend it because look at the how fast how fast the coverage is. I mean, this is just an absurd amount of paint coming out all at one time so this car is going to be rust proof in no time we're just covering everything that the salt could hit guys this is the big moment the car is loaded up there it is John's ready to go we got the trailer hooked up got the bikes on it we are hitting the road hopefully fingers crossed everything's gonna be all right are you ready are you ready buddy you are ready I gotta get my bag in the car and hitting the road Ugh.
Okay guys, the old Mercury made it to the Bonneville Salt Flats. So I'm gonna end the video here because, well, my job is done now, and now I have to do another one. The car made it. The car made it, the bike made it. So uh, guys, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Father's Day, Dad.